Hey YouTube, this is Nerdles back with another G.I. Joe Creo review from uh, the Series 2 of the Blind Bags. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Land Adventure. Uh, so what this is, is a recreation um, in Creo form of one of the classic uh, Adventure Team 12-inch uh, G.I. Joe figures. So anyway, you get a little uh, book here. You got a picture of the uh, Land Adventure on it, and uh, it says Land Adventure here. And I like the hair on uh, the uh, prototype here on the uh, book better than I do on the actual figure, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, open it up, you know, it shows you how to assemble it, shows you get stickers with it. If it's like the first series, you got a sticker for the. Um, Basically, to put on a little um, stud, which, there it is, like this, that was made to look like the one of the original G.I. Joe boxes, so he could hold it. My problem is that um, mine didn't come with it, so I can't really show it to you. But if it's like the first one, it also came with a little Adventure Team sticker, which was kind of neat. Now we've got... Um, on the back, you've got the figures available in the wave. Which, after this figure, I am missing Flash, um, Ripper, Dr. Mindbender, Major Blood, and Tunnel Rat. So, about half of them. So, getting there. Um, also, I think, if I remember right, on the back of the package, the code for this one is either 78 or 79 but I can't remember but anyway um, under the figure itself so like I said I don't have the sticker for this but um, if I did it looked like the box and you could put it in his hand um, but anyway let's take a look at his accessories he comes with the standard Creo display stand and a little um, pistol. And um, that's about it for accessories for him, really. Now, he does have um, flocked hair, which looks pretty nice. Um, like I said, I wish they'd done it more like the flock on the uh, prototype that they showed in the book, but oh well. Um, I do have one problem with this, and it's the same problem I had with the Adventure Team Commander. Um, this one stays on a little better, but it doesn't sit on great. So, like, if a kid was playing with this, I'm sure it'd keep falling off. Um which uh, could get annoying. But anyway, um, just take that off so it don't keep falling off. Now, unlike with the Adventure Team Commander, he does not include an extra head. Um, so you just kind of have the closed, uh, closed mouth standard look. He doesn't have the screaming f head. Um, he does have a really nice beard, and he has a little scar on his face. I love his costume. Got some camo all over it, which I wish they'd carried around the back of his arms. I can understand not doing it on the back of his legs, but um, still looks cool all together. You got his little um, medallion, which uh, came with all the original Adventure Team guys, and got the Adventure Team logo on his chest, and a little pistol molded on. Now, it is standard articulation. You've for a Creo figure. You've got the head turns, got ball jointed shoulders, you got the uh, swivel at the wrist, twist at the waist, and uh, pretty nice hip articulation. So still a lot more than um, Lego minifigures have. So if uh, this is something you guys are looking for. These are available at Toys R Us now. Um, like I said, 
I think the code on the packaging for this is 78 or 79, but I can't remember which. I'll uh, try to put it in the description for this. So, I guess that's going to about do it for today, guys. So, this is Nardle signing out.